Welcome to Growy. In this video, we will show you how to use the features of the Growy app. If you haven't signed up to the Growy app yet, please watch the setting up the device video first. After completing the setup process, the main screen of the app will open. This is your dashboard. It shows live status of the EC and pH levels in the water, water temperature, humidity levels, room temperature, and a quick view of your grow setup. The top of the sidebar shows your profile picture and your username. To add or change your profile picture, simply click on it. If you wish to change your username, click on the edit icon that pops up when you hover over it. Below, you'll see a list of all your devices. The green leaf indicates whether the device is connected to Wi-Fi or not. At the top, there are icons for navigating the different features of the app. The first is the dashboard, shown here. The next is the Modify page. This is where you make the device work for you. It has three tabs, EC, PH, and Flush. On the EC tab, you can set manual or automatic feeding of nutrients. Use the manual feed setting to inject exact amounts of nutrients. Use the automatic feed setting to maintain the desired EC level of the water. Just enter the relative amounts of nutrients according to the brand's feed chart and set the level you want it to reach. On the pH tab, you can set the desired pH level of the water. Just enter the pH range you want and click Start. The Flush tab is where you can clean the tubes that run inside the physical device. Use this feature when you want to switch between different kinds of nutrients or pH solutions. Select the pumps you want to clean and press flush. Make sure that the in tubes you choose to flush are in water or cleaning solution and that the out tubes are able to drain. Next to the modify icon, you'll find the history icon. Here you can see the different stats from previous days. Clicking on a day will show you the statistics for that 24 hour period together with a graph to aid visual data analysis. The final icon will show the grow settings. This is where you can edit your grow settings whenever changes to your setup have occurred. Keeping this data updated will help you keep track of your grow log history in the future.